Hello everyone, it's me Christine again. And no Menchie, she's not in her bed. Menchie! Girl! How are you guys doing? Merry post Christmas, happy not yet New Year's. It's about that time, yeah, in the middle of the uh, middle of the holidays where yes, I know the joke has been s said, so I won't say it. But you know that joke that everyone says where I don't know what day it is <laughs> between Christmas and New Year's. Me neither. Mm-mm. Thank you, Kyra. Kyrie. Hello, I've been looking forward to this. I hope you're enjoying your holidays. I am, thank you. My girlfriend surprised me with so much hollow taco in my stocking. Can't wait for what 2024 will bring. That's very exciting. I've been seeing on Instagram people's social media saying like, look, the, look at the hollow I got for Christmas. And that's, that's awesome. Menchie did take her day off for the holidays. Yeah, she's um, Menchie. <laughs> she's like right in the hall. She always does this little monkey. Anyways, welcome on in. Welcome to the Menchie gang. Welcome to the mods. Welcome all. I am still fucked in the eyes, so, you know, I'll survive, but <laughs> I have um, red eyeshadow on. Just kidding, it's just my skin. <laughs> you know, people kill for this look, you know, that, um, what is it, 21 Pilots, the red eyeshadow look. Remember when I unironically did that makeup? I do, I have pictures. I did the whole like red eyeshadow huge circle around my eyes. <laughs> and yeah, it was very cool, but now I don't have to put any effort into it. It just happens when I exist. Happy holidays, Simply Fam. I've been binging the podcast the last few days to get me through the end of the year. Thank you. I'm glad you've been binging it then. I know we still have to record another episode, but there's been a lot of like different family things that haven't so much interrupted my stream time <laughs> it just so happens except once where i skipped the saturday but like we did christmas and stuff um do you want to do a christmas recap and then we'll do a gaming thing a gaming thing i mean play game play the game nice sweater Wh what really i think it's ugly <laughs> welcome to the mench gang spooky Christmas recap? Do you care? Do we care? Okay, grab your tea. I have my tea, I will tell you. Um, it's the usual, actually. Don't, don't mind this chip. <laughs> this is my usual after 5 p.m. tea. It's peppermint tea with chocolate oat milk. Just like, like an inch of chocolate oat milk. It's amazing. It tastes like after dinner hot chocolate, but it's much lighter than that because it's mostly tea and just a little bit of um, chocolate oat milk, which is so good. Chocolate oat milk has like a richness to it. It's like dessert, but it's quite light at the same time. So even if you're full, you can drink it. You know what I mean? Mm. It's very lovely. It's a little cold. My, my hot plate's not hot enough. All of my eye sockets and noses, all of my noses are running. So I apologize. It's just my inflammation during this time of year. <laughs> Merry Christmas or whatever. So what did I do for Christmas? Um, not much, which was amazing, honestly. We did most of our Christmas shit like before and after. For like two weeks ago, we did stuff with some of my family. Um, so we traveled for that. That's why I wasn't here on a Saturday. So we did that over a weekend-ish and then got that done. And then we went to a place called Montebello, which we've been to before. It's it's um, not far from Ottawa. It's just like an hour into Quebec. Quebec, là, we went to Quebec. J'ai pas parlé français, là, mais oui, oui. And there's like this lodge that is known probably to anyone in Quebec would know what it is or if you live in Ottawa. It's like, it's a hotel, like it's a chain. Fairmont technically owns it, but it's one of the original lodges, I think, so that it literally looks like a giant castle cabin. Like it's a cabin, it's a lot of wood. 
with like wings, <laughs> wings of wood. And it's very cabiny, but it's popular because they have this giant fireplace that has like four or five openings of the fireplace all around this giant cylinder in the middle of the hotel. So, so many people can sit around the fire column and it's like a huge lounge, but it's very um, like cabin feeling, but also nice. You know what I mean? You know, it's not camping to be clear. It's not camping. <laughs> I've stayed there. It's beautiful. I could pull it up, do some uh, promo. Montebello, <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> Montebello Chateau, let me just find you some pictures, yeah? You might have seen this in like my Snapchats like last year. I didn't post anything this year. But like, look at this shit, right? The fuck is this? It's like a giant lodge with different wings and it's made out of wood. This is kind of, this is like the inside. So see this giant fireplace and people can sit on all sides and then there's like three stories so you, people sit and play board games. It just feels like a lodge, like a chalet lodge. And then they do have a pool. Um, I didn't go swimming. I just don't want any extra irritation right now. But people like it at Christmas. Like if I write Christmas, I wonder if there's... Yeah, here, cause they just, look at this. They put trees and shit everywhere. It's a very Canadian kind of Christmas. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a lodge <laughs> cabin. Anyways, that's what we did with Ben's family. So we just went there. I didn't, I haven't been there like growing up. Um, my family mostly visited my grandmother in Florida, but Ben's family had historically gone here sometimes, so we went there. It's just an hour away from us, so it's not that crazy, um, but uh, we just went for one night. Yeah, it's really pretty. There's also like winter activities you can do, but there's no snow, so there was no winter activities except for curling which is indoors technically. <clears throat> but that's what I did with Ben's family. And then on the 24th, we hosted just a small Christmas Eve dinner at our place. Nothing crazy, we ordered food. <laughs> like that's it, I'm, I've never cooked for Christmas and I don't think I ever will. <laughs> I, just, I cannot be tamed, I cannot be domesticated, so. And we've done this before. I actually quite enjoy ordering food from some of the local restaurants in Ottawa. There's a few really good ones that we discovered ever since COVID started, honestly. We like learned about slightly more like nicer homemade places that are more restaurants as opposed to fast food takeout. So they make like full out turkey dinners for take home and you can just order like well in advance. You have to plan if it's like Thanksgiving or Christmas. But there's a few places in Ottawa we like now to get these kinds of dinners. You just have to make sure you reserve in advance and get yours because they are in demand. And then, yeah, we've got like a whole turkey and vegetables and stuffing and all the sauces and uh, grilled Brussels sprouts. And like some people bought like extra loaves of bread and stuff like that. So we had all of the Christmas type food and appetizers and sides and people brought desserts. So we got a lot of that stuff and I didn't have to cook anything. <laughs> My plan. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, no domestication, feral simply only exactly, Casey, that's me. Ordering food sounds great, honestly, more relaxing. We can't order food because we're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I mean, the food we order though is usually you have to cook it at home. So it's, you have to get it when it's cold and then you reheat it in the oven for like 40 minutes. So I don't know if that helps you. It's not like it's fresh, hot, and then we have to eat it immediately. Pretty please, Christine, can you confirm there won't be a trumpet? <laughs> Mac will have spent the equivalent of like the average holo taco drop by the time they keep asking me. But by the time they're done asking me what's coming out in January <laughs> in Super Chat Money. Um, there is no new product releases in January.
Wait, I shouldn't tell you. I should just keep trolling you. I'm not sure. You'll have to keep asking me. Keep super chatting. <laughs> Go on. Ask me again. Maybe you'll get a different answer. Something good came out of ugly COVID. You found new places to buy food. Honestly, yes. Like, before I never really considered takeout from slightly nice restaurants, you know? I always felt like, oh, like, you only go there if you're gonna sit down and do a whole ass fucking performance of eating in a nice restaurant. And I'm like, I'm not interested in that. <laughs> but then a lot of places started doing takeout and many of them continued, which I definitely appreciate. Maybe they, it opened like a new customer base. So right, so they have like a new business model now, right? Some of the nice like home cooked type places in Ottawa also like they have a restaurant still, many of them, or not all of them, I guess some of them closed, but the ones who remained open through COVID started doing takeout and then many continued takeout. So I actually like going to these places, you know, for takeout, it's kind of nice. And then you don't have to cook Christmas dinner. So we had an excellent dinner. We had some of Ben's family and my sister over. <clears throat> and that was just at our place on the 24th. And then on Christmas day, um, we had um, nobody. It was amazing. <laughs> I was like, what did I do on Christmas day? That was how many days ago? Yeah, all we did was watch The Handmaid's Tale. Um, I'm rewatching it. I've already seen all of The Handmaid's Tale, but Ben has not seen The Handmaid's Tale. So we're already on season five. Where is season six? <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm mad because we're getting close to the end of season five and I'm gonna feel the frustration I felt like two years ago when season five came out and there wasn't a season six yet and there's still not a season six and News reports say they haven't even started filming. June, <laughs> get it together. <laughs> Under his eye, exactly, I need it. I'm re-watching it and not gonna have season six to go to next, like what bad timing, you know? I should have waited until there was a sign that season six was coming. Yeah, so this is the second time I've seen everything. First time Ben's seen it and it's it's very good. I remember though, like now that I'm watching it for a second time, I kind of remember thinking like how it kind of went off the rails and was a little bit hard to believe for some of it. So it's I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Because of the strike, yeah, probably. I think like the writing might have been delayed and then ultimately shooting didn't happen. But shooting was supposed to happen in 2023, but it just never did. So let's hope 2024. Thank you, Susan, for the gifted memberships. Menjigang, 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 Menjigang. Susan, how's the beach? Silly munchkins. Please give us hints what's coming out January 2024. Nothing. <laughs> That's your hint. Um, Menchie Gang. I did your spills. You will be happy to know that I did your spills with your interesting color combination choices. So that's the Menchie Gang had picked their own spills, uh, their own Holo Taco shades to make a spill with, and I've made it and filmed it, and now I will produce it so that it'll be it'll be ready for the next Menchie Gang stream which will be this Sunday New Year's Eve and I will have uh, Zoom and iPhone backdrops ready for you to download for free link below and um, also a little bit of data from the Menchie Gang survey that I just thought was fun it's like the stuff I asked Menchie Gang like what collection boxes are you missing like so I was just curious so I've already done the gifting 
giveaway for Mention Gang members for my personal stash that's done, but I put together a little bit of data for like what is the Menchie Gang missing just to see, you know? I know it's a, sm it's a small, narrow sample size, but I thought it was fun. So I will share that with Menchie Gang on this Sunday on New Year's Eve. So that's at 2 p.m. and the stream is already populated if you go to the membership tab. Scared to see it? Oh, don't be scared, you know? You have to live with it for the next year because I'm not redoing it. <laughs> what you picked is what you get, Menchie Gang. <laughs> Does Menchie know she's famous? I try and tell her, but her I don't think her brain can handle anything other than tuna. <laughs> All right, shall we move into gaming? I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. Maybe you're sad it's over, or maybe you're really happy it's over. You're like, thank God. I would like to go into introvert mode now. Introvert, introvert mode has started, okay? And then you might have to pause for New Year's if you have plans, or you'll just sleep through it, whichever one is your style. I feel like I've, I've done a poll previously on this stream, and more people said that they were like sleeping through it <laughs> or not going out. <laughs> <laughs> and that proportion probably increases every year. Yeah. When is the data stream? So what I was just referring to is just a Menchie Gang little bit of data. And then the Hollow Taco best of 2023 or best and worst of 2023 stream will be probably the second week of January, mid-January. Just because I want everyone to come back from holidays and then I have some stuff to do. Um, and it's possible that before that I do like a generic 2024 nail trends. So that might be the first week of January, like the first Saturday stream. And then this Saturday, if I'm feeling okay and my eyes not fucked up, then I was going to do a 2023 looking back at Hollow Taco releases. Like it's not a data stream, but just someone left this suggestion in the Discord. If I just look back at every shade we release in 2023, maybe go through swatch wheels and then solicit your guys' thoughts on it. Um, more like anecdotal, you know, qualitative feedback, live feedback. And maybe I could even make like a Google Forms for people to do live on stream and we can look at the results, like pick your favorite shade of 2023 or something. Just like a live fun data, different than Holo Taco. Uh, like raw data, which that will be a separate stream later, but I'm just thinking about like a more casual live data stream of 2023 review, as opposed to a strict data sales review. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. More data streams, the better was like my mindset. Uh, but if I still feel and look like this, I don't know if I'll do it because I don't want to be depressy -y, you know, because then it makes people sad. <laughs> I want to be in a good mood. I just realized that today is my one year Menchie Gang anniversary. Woo! What a great community. Happy birthday, Haley. I mean, anniversary. Spirit Finger is number one for sure. We'll see, we'll see. Mac, I'm literally going to refund you. Where's the refund button? There is none. <laughs> Why is there no refund? <laughs> like, I need YouTube to introduce a refund button because how funny would that be if you could just be like, cha-ching, <laughs> like refund. <laughs> they need it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right, shall we do gaming? Got my Holo Taco gradient hoodie for Xmas. But DHL is sitting on my Christmas cat sweater. Yeah, that happens. Especially for internationals. Uh, mine's also DHL's chilling with it, but um, I like cats all year round, so. Happy in between Christmas and New Year's, everyone. Yes. Okay. I want to go through the gaming. So today we are playing The Wolf Among Us episode slash chapter two. And it's been an interesting ride. <laughs> and huge shout out to Connie who made this. 
Of course, Connie, coming and Clutch, always doing their homework. So we much appreciate homework doers. <laughs> Silly munchkins. So is the ho next hollow taco drop going to be in February? Dad joke, which bear is the most condescending? That's a compound question, so I'll only respond to the second one. <laughs> which bear is the most condescending? I don't know, like... A grizzly bear? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, anyways. We've got Connie's recap of episode one of The Wolf Among Us. Today we'll be playing episode two. Big B Wolf. Let me zoom in. That's us. We are Hugh Jackman. Fable Town Sheriff investigating Faith's murder. Fable is led uh, led <laughs> Le little red riding hood the three pigs okay uh faith is dead <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> resident she was a sex worker had an altercation with woody this guy about money she said these lips were sealed so she didn't want to say anything she wore a sussy ribbon around her neck i thought she was a cat but maybe not Severed head discovered with ribbon and ring stuffed in her mouth. Um, also, this game is rated mature <laughs> and has depictions of violence and some heads were cut off that, yeah, that twice actually in the last episode. So just a general warning if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff. Um, for me, the distinction that I appreciate knowing sometimes is just, is it cartoon or is it realistic? To me, this is very much cartoon, so if that changes your perspective on anything, it's cartoon, it's not, it doesn't look real, but it is still violent in some cases. Uh, fabled donkey skin. Okay, oh yeah, <laughs> the donkey skin. Wait, what was that fable again? I, I told Ben and he didn't even watch it. Like he didn't even um, watch my stream, so he missed the best part ever. Uh, it was like, the daughter was so ugly and her father was so attracted to... No, sorry, I said that wrong, not the daughter was ugly. The mother was like the most beautiful person, but then the daughter grew up and became even more beautiful. So the father became like attracted to the daughter, which is fucking sick. And then... <laughs> fables, am I right? And then... They tried to make the daughter ugly so that the father wouldn't be attracted to her. So they put a donkey skin on her face. Because it's very much the daughter's problem to solve here by looking like a donkey. Yeah, so that's Faith's story. And then we've got the woodsman slash Woody, resident violent drunk. We fought him to protect Faith. A suspect in Faith's murder insists that he's innocent. We arrested him at the end of episode one. Thank you, amateur new alert. The lazy gradient. Good hack, good hack. And then we've got Beauty and the Beast. Beauty, resident, married to Beast. Hiding something from the Beast. We don't know much about them, just that they were... There's a little quarrel going on. Beast, resident, uh, married to Beauty. Trying to understand what she's hiding. Colin is a pig. Big B's apartment crashing roommate stuck, snuck away from the little farm. Or sorry, from the farm. He's from the little pigs. Snow White is dead. Well, her head was found, chopped off. She's the Fable Town director of operations. Maybe a love interest, question mark. Investigating Faith's murder, which will be hard to do if she's dead. Severed head was found at the end of episode one. I cannot say this word. I Ichabod, Ichabod. I itchy body. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> uh, Ichabod Crane? Ichabod. I don't know. I thought I watched last stream, but you are saying literal nonsense. So I guess not, right? Like, what the fuck am I reading? Like, what are we saying? This is the game, though. This is what it is. Ick, Ickabob? Ickabod. Ickabod. Okay, got it. Ickabooty. Ickabudussy. Ickabussy crane. Icky crane. He gives me the ick. Mm. 
He's a Fabletown Debbie mare. He looks weird. His glasses are too small, actually. Okay, then there's Buff King, which is a monkey. He's a green monkey. He's a flying green monkey. He's from the Wizard of Oz. He's an office bookkeeper slash librarian, and he helps us with research. He's a researching monkey. Okay, I need one of those. <laughs> and we've got the magic mirror, not the mask. Okay, 90s kids, I thought this was the mask at first, but it's not, it's a magic mirror. Uh, can show us any fable, but has limitations. Toad, the toad, eh, it's a toad. He's a resident, he cannot afford the glamour, yeah? <laughs> he has an altercation with Tweedledee or Dumb. And he gave his face donkey skin coat. Did he? I don't remember that part. <laughs> what? And then there was Toad Jr. Is Toad's son. Lawrence, dead. Resident, married to Faith. And we failed to save him. Oh, yeah. Did I mention that we died? Like, in the first 10 minutes. Uh, only once, but we did die. <laughs> Is that a good thing? Tweedledee and Tweedledum, they are private investigators with very large heads. They work for an unknown person. One was seen searching Woody's apartment, and they've threatened Toad. Uh, one found hiding in Lawrence's apartment. So they are a suspect in Faith's murder. Holly, owner of the Trip Trap Bar, was trying to cover up for Woody, and her sister is missing. Grendel, resident, resents us and Snow for not doing any anything about Holly's missing sister. He tried to fight us. Okay, fable terminology. This is what we need to decode this game. Glamour, a magic spell used to change the user's appearance. I interpreted glamour as like what animals put on or activated to look human, right? Like Toad couldn't afford the glamour, so he just looks like a frog. But Big B can afford the glamour, so he looks, even though he is a wolf, he looks human. That was my interpretation of what glamour is. Mundy, uh, mundane, is slang referring to normal humans. Like, you're, you're, you're just a human, you're not an animal in glamour. You're a Mundy. <laughs> and the farm, a location for non-human fables that refuse or cannot afford glamour. Hmm. But some of them still live in the main city, like the Toad. All right, let me pull it up. I'm gonna pull up the game and switch into gaming mode. Let's go. Rated M for mature, mature Mondays. Mature Menchies. Mature Menchies only. Uh oh. Why isn't my controller working? Hold on a second.
Fuck. Hold on. Hold on, I have to restart the game with my controller because it doesn't recognize it. Work, bitch! You gotta work, bitch! It's okay, this song is good. We will allow. Aha, now it works. Okay, episode two, Smoke and Mirrors. Mr. Toad? Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Oh, this is previously whoa, whoa, whoa. on. Hey, hey. The Wolf Among Us, episode face. one. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c- <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? What are we thinking? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels and the... They're gonna string me up, big man. That it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. Ah! You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. This fucking lab dog. He comes sniffing around this part of town. The rich fucks in the woodlands need to shake to her. Isn't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. You're making this no more way. difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. <laughs> I didn't think that was funny. Oh, in I case did. you were waiting for me to laugh. I laughed. Look, I know His what you His eyes look like mine. Through. We're twins. Really, I do. <laughs> but I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. We're being watched. Are we live streaming? Guys, we're live. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. It's an interrogation I know tactic. This must be hard for you. Do you? 
Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. I mean, most people haven't had that, but yes. <laughs> Aren't we a cop? So your we nose know. Is bleeding. <gasps> she's a she's eleven. <gasps> Are you okay? You don't look so good. She's Jody. Detective Brannigan. Residen. I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> she's an animal. She's not. She's in glamour. She's lying. Please. Please. She's gonna turn into a bird. I'm sorry. Just make it stop, please. Or does it do this to humans and not to animals? High pitch frequency? It's a cyber attack. Like that movie. We have to go now. Ica sussy. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. What? Won't they wonder why they woke up like this? And there's a picture of Snow White's head on the table? Oh. There we go. <laughs> Why does our boss want to cover for us? We didn't even do anything. There is why do we need cover. Also the camera. Live streamed. To Animal Tube. <coughs> Glamour Tube. <coughs> this doesn't change anything. Fine. We, uh, found the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. And he's already to the point of confession. Good. I've got questions for him. Well, we all do. Is that a rules place? <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, Everything's gotten so confused. Yep. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things. Make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. 
for Miss White. I got it. Oh, <laughs> we're so strong. That'll be like a three thousand dollar repair Rolls Royce window. Met a maid who asked my trade, and a sailor John said I. And away, you Santi, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? Look sharp, Woodsman. You have visitors. Why is he singing? Some sort of pathetic defensive mechanism. Never mind that, though. He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. I have too many methods to inspire him. Bluebeard, I told you not to touch him until we return. His beard's not blue. Well, barely. And yet okay. you saw fit to retrieve it. It's hardly been used. Yet. Hello, Sheriff. Come to help? Because I think I have a secure handle on things. Bluebeard. What the hell are you doing here? What does it look like? I thought you were on vacation. Duty called. Duty? This isn't your job. What is Bluebeard? You don't even have a job. Oh, really? Let me tell the story. I can tell it all. About the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. It's a good song. <sighs> Woody. That you, Bigby? I didn't kill that girl, Wolf. I don't have a thing to tell you, so get me the fuck out of these straps. Save your energy. You'll need it later. We're gonna, all right, but we have to have a little chat first. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this, Blue Dandy. I didn't kill anybody. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look. I got questions, and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. Whenever you're ready, Sheriff. I asked for you at the bar, and your friends acted like you weren't there. Why would they do that? Look, I got nothing to say, so just... just let me go. You can go. answer that. Please, Even just if not let murder. me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? I'll take care of it. What are you planning to do, exactly? Don't forget what we talked about. What did you tell him? We'll see. I prefer to play things by ear. By ear or by year? I never know. You want to know what this is? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Take a good fucking look. Take a good long look. Etch it into your fucking memory. I told you, I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I didn't have nothing to do with it. You want to tell me now why your friends covered for you? They're scared of you. That's all there is to it. And they didn't want trouble for me. I didn't kill nobody, all right? I didn't. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was. He is. He said <laughs> Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now, what do you exactly take that for? He knows what's happening. Yeah, he knows all something. Right. Even if something. Didn't Did you say that, murder. Woody? Where are you talking about? Where was she supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? She was nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? Just forget it. Where's... where's my stuff? I want to smoke. You, you took my smokes. We, uh, confiscated his belongings. For the time being. This was all we could find on him in any case. Nothing exceptional to speak of. Much like the man himself, I'd say. It's mo Where was Snow supposed to be? We can't leave until you talk. Woodsman, you gotta talk to me, because Crane and Bluebeard, they think you're shit. 
But you think I don't know what that feels like? To be the bad guy? To know you're just trying your fucking best and to still get shit on day and night? Yeah, I know you do, Wolf. You gotta tell the other guys Don't to leave. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Let me handle this. Tell them to leave. Tell me what you meant by Snow wasn't supposed to be there. You've got it all wrong. I, I can't. Just leave it alone. I, I am the sheriff. It. Just a waste of fucking time. Snow wasn't supposed to be where? Where was she supposed to be? I didn't... I didn't say Snow, okay? I never said that. What did you she say? Did. She wasn't supposed to even be there. She, that's it. Not Snow. I, I don't Who know she? fucking anything about Snow. Beauty? Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about Snow, but who did you mean? Who wasn't supposed to be there? I... I can't get into it. Who wasn't supposed to be there? Listen. Who are you talking about? Bruh. Help me help, help you, me Woody. Help Let me you. get you out of here. <laughs> I'm getting pretty sleepy, Sheriff. Looks like your good cup game is played out. Shut up. Who are you talking about, huh? Who? The game's what telling me to do violence. Oh, it's not about the killings. It's not. Who wasn't supposed to be there? Who are you talking about? Let's just about? bore him to Nothing. death. It's nothing. Come on, Big B. You have other options. Use them. It's obvious he's not giving anything up this way. Okay, game says there are no options left but violence. How fucking stupid is that? My wrist fucking wait. hurt. Wait, what's this? Give him a smoke. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll just take my own smoke. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you like <coughs> nicotine. Thanks. Give me I answers. This. Back off, Bluebeard. This isn't your job. Get your answers, or I'm taking over. No, go Not rub a lamp or something. Happen. You look like a genie. Woody, who wasn't supposed to be there? A girl. Which girl? I can't. Just. Just let me go. Where was this girl supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? The girl. It was. Faith. All right? Faith. We got him! Faith. We got him! This is about her? I was expecting someone else, and this girl I didn't even know shows up. Who were you expecting? I. Uh, I don't know. Talk! Now! No one's behind anything. This... I can't get into it. It's my own personal shit, so fuck off. Anyone can see this isn't working. Does he want a drink? You ever sober? Let me... Let me get a swig. Son. <laughs> Why are we getting a <laughs> hug? Thanks. <laughs> Who were you expecting? Ay, ay, ay. Lily. Lily? Lily? Who's Lily? Lily is Holly's sister. Oh. Holly. The bartender? From the Trip Trap. Her sister's? Yeah. Her From sister's the Trip a Trap. Prostitute. Trip Trap. Hmm. I was a regular. I'm the best nurse, cop. Okay. I, I would pay. give my prisoners she cigarettes and alcohol. That was it. When Faith came to the door, it just set me off. Lily usually comped me if I didn't have cash. Faith didn't want to give me a break. Just please don't don't tell anyone, Big B. Ren and her, that whole bar, they just, they wouldn't understand. Well, Shut congratulations, up. Sheriff. We've been here for God knows how long, and what do we have to show for it? 
A thorough retelling of the woodsman's sexual misadventures. What this else barbarian do you want? knows more than he's letting on. Can't continue to treat him like some stupid American waif. I really think it's going the best that it can. Then you have no imagination, I'm sorry to say. He's talking, all right? My methods work fine. No, they don't. They're not working at all. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show oh, you how it's no. done. <clears throat> what do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. No. Stop this right now. Snow White is dead. She was one of us, not one of them. Uh-oh. No! 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 Oh, I have to fight him. I don't want to fight. Look what you made me do, bitch! Snow! What's going on down here? What the f Snow? Men are just dumb? Maybe she never died and we're dumb. We got fooled. That that'd make sense actually. Men are dumb. <laughs> or is she not snow and the real snow died and this is just someone in glamour or something I don't know I don't know how to discern who is the real anyone is she a deep fake we'll see twin sisters snow white sister wives there's already seven dwarves, you know, it's a crowded household. <laughs> what the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. Are you dead? And that makes it okay? No, just stop changing the subject. Are you dead or alive? <laughs> I hope it was worth your time. Why is no one explaining anything? How are okay, you not dead? You're, you're gonna have to explain <laughs> this because I'm really not getting it yet. Yeah. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the But color. it was your head. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. Huh? I need an explanation. Snow? What is it? Are, are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened. I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... <laughs> what is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And so why she was glamoured to look like me. Someone glamoured to look like I Snow. I mean, that's what it is, right? The toad? So, Conf I'm what's confused. our next move? Maybe you should lie low for a while? Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well, then what Just did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. Okay, but don't be I'm reckless. not going to be an errand girl for Crane girl. anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Bad choice of words for us. I'm sorry. 
I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... Myself. Right. Don't be yourself. Fabletown Business Office, the Woodland Building, late afternoon. Ten inches of heavy rain. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. TJ I Max? I want to be there. That's a store in America. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. <clears throat> I'm a green monker. I'm a green monker. Oh, that's enough. Uh, Mira, finish! Cancel! No. What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. What were you doing with the mirror, Toad? I thought maybe I'll catch you on the shitter. I was just having a laugh. We've been waiting here a long time. What the fuck you doing with the mirror? TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? It's okay. Are you okay? Empathize with the toad. Step Go one. ahead, TJ. <laughs> I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I, I wasn't doing thing. anything bad. I, I promise. promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. Just tell me what you saw. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Toby. <laughs> Careful, Big B. Oh. I wasn't. He doesn't like hands. The lady... Fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. Ah! I thought I, I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. Ah! <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is that a fable? Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. <clears throat> Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but what? I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I've told you! You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? Did you hear anyone laughing? No. <laughs> Did you see who it was? No. No. Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. <laughs> They said, they said, stop laughing at me. Bigby, he's frightened. 
Do you know whose voice it was? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. Not yet. <laughs> you can't keep him here against his will, Bigby. You've got your information. We don't have to put up with this bullshit. Oh, never mind. I didn't think that would be negative. Toe. I had one more what? question. Bigby. I'm sorry. sorry, I just yeah, had one question. Bet. Relax. That Jesus went about as well Christ. as I expected. <sighs> what if I wanted to say something you want to nice? Look at the body now? Yeah. Come on. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. What did you forget, monkey? Forgot your files, your evidence files. We're going to investigate with the monkeys. I am the two percent. I did not comfort the baby toad. <laughs> Can I walk around? Oh, finally. Finally, it has happened to me. I'm walking all wolfy. Let's go. Wait, so that's her fake head? Oh my god. Wait, how did we get all of this evidence? You, the what? The monkey just kept her body in a tiny box? Excuse me. Wow. I didn't realize. Are you gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little. How do you strange. determine what the body is? The glamour like, is so you know effective. It's invasive. But just do what you need to do. It looks just like Faith's did. Did Doctor Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Come on, monkey, do research. If the neck wound was the same, there might be a ribbon in her mouth, too. Anything? Nothing. So, it's not exactly the same. No ribbon. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? <laughs> you can't. Calvin Klein this euphoria, nonsense. obviously. Do you see that? Could be a bruise. Tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. To see oh. if she's a witch. She's not a witch. She's Snow White. Track marks. She used Monday drugs. Looks that way. Monday drugs. Pretty heavily like human too. Human drugs. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless. Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? Well, it's, it's not technically glamour. illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. Thank you, so smart-ass monkey. some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. 
I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. It's the black market. Black market or not, it's <laughs> a pretty good match. It's like when you get a fake ID, it but back. it sucks. The buttons you know, aren't exist either. You bought it online. There's an extra it's laminated here. poorly. Like that. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder. What? Snow, do you mind if I uh, wait? Why? Open her coat. Big B, just let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let her do it. What are we looking for? It's not. It's not you, Snow. It's just it's a body. Name. Wait, what are we looking for? We need a probable cause. We need a reason. I'm sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? Her glamour is defective. Oh, defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. She wants to check out her song. Are you wearing silk lingerie snow? <laughs> Why do you want to know? I'm just, I'm just doing my job. The clothes are exact. <laughs> They're not. This is so fucking great. Hey, script writers, you are sick. <laughs> perfume. Use this. What is that? <gasps> oh. She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. Yeah. So, someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? You should leave we the should room, have it looked at sir. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? Will you keep quiet? Yes. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I'm not sure yet. Don't open it yet. Something to do with these rings here. Oh, do I have to open it? Uh-oh, I'm scared. What do I do? Okay. No, that looks done. Does not look done. Is that done? It looks done. Okay, I'll, I'll keep turning it anyways so you see something else on the front. I was doing it from the back. <laughs> Oops. There you go. A deer. What does that mean? Do a deer, a female oh. deer. Da, da, na, 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 na. <gasps> cocaine. We're doing cocaine. That's what Snow White really is, though. Doing some cocaine. Someone must have taken In this from my apartment. Game. I, I noticed mm. it was missing, but I didn't think this was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I talk much anymore. Smoking. Coke. Snorting. Not smoking. Okay. Let me guess. It's my hair. Color match. Yeah. You have a nice shade of bluish gray hair. Miss. Who did this, Big P? Hmm. 
She's a troll? You've got to be <laughs> kidding me. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? Just like some of chat. That wasn't there before. This is what happens Who to you, you guys at night. I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. With that tattoo, it's gotta be Holly's sister, Lily. The woodsman told me about her. You're right. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. So right. Holly's sister she might know bought Shady this. Glamour to look like well, Snow White. certainly another troll. Just like for funsies, I guess? We should go. It's you like when you use an there. Instagram filter. Why not? It's too dangerous. <laughs> Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. You're staying here. And do nothing like I always do. Yes. You're not coming with me, Snow. Literally, someone tried to decapitate you. <laughs> we need someone back here, though, to do the thinking. It's not smart for everyone to go do the same thing. This whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Who is Because, Jack? you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. Jack he said it looked like Snow White. <laughs> so we were Where's just wondering talk? why, of all the possible Go suspects climb in some Fable green Town, peas why or would whatever. you arrest the poor old woodsman, who you know had nothing to do with these murders? Big B, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! Find the stock. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Holly! What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. I'm literally Actually, trying here. have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? You'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us. She might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. 
I knew this would happen. I know this is hard. You can just, uh... Holly. I ain't got nothing for you, Wolf. All right, I think that's... Oh, for fuck's sake. She came anyways. What could you possibly want right now? I'm glad to see you. Really? Yeah. What I said before, uh, forget it. You should have come along. Yeah, well, you're welcome. Yeah, she knows. So your business is done here. That guy's, like, always angry, you know? And I thought we would be always angry, because we are a wolf. Holly, get the fuck yeah, out of my Yeah, let Snow bar. talk to her. Oh, no, she doesn't like Snow. I just want... It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. That was decent of you. It's weird to say that, like, right in front of her. Grin. Okay. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Yeah, leave. Yes. Exit. Goodbye. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just, I didn't want to watch it with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. Fees, huh? What kind of fees? Sounds like one of those old company store kinds of ploys, designed to entrap people by keeping them dead. An MLM? We can probably learn more at the club. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? Huh. <laughs> Lily. Anything else you can tell us? I don't think so. Like I said, we didn't talk much. But that's all right. You've been more than helpful. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. I'll check with the deputy mayor about that. He'd want to be kept in the loop. This is really important to me. Look, why don't you come down with me to the business office, and we'll see what we can do. She might have used the opera and glamour for her work. That's kind of terrifying. That club? I'll go down there now. See people. what I can find out from like the that. owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. The pudding and pie. 6 p.m. Heavy rain. 
She's got a bow on her neck. Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I'm a friend of Georgie's. Where is he? A friend? <laughs> You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I lied. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. Is he, uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. Close your eyes. There's dancing. We don't, we can't look at dancing. Dancing is illegal. Welcome to the pudding and pie. <laughs> where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Did you know Lily? I don't need a sales pitch. She worked here? <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. Wait. What the fuck's that? Is this illegal on What YouTube? do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. I actually shit. don't know. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna Anyone want that. know? I can take it from here. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> it's a cartoon. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. You can just listen to it. How many times do I have to say it? <laughs> it's like in the you're background. You're supposed it's to turn there. the clients on. I That's think it'll like, job. it'll pass this moment. You want them to feel happy. You want them to think you feel happy. <laughs> you want them to forget about your show. Okay, I think they're done. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Ah! Keep dancing, you. <laughs> I didn't say stop. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Susan, I swear. You, stay right there. What the heck? Don't even think about sitting down. Ah! <laughs> you, Georgie. Brilliant deduction, Sheriff. <laughs> okay, are they done? Holy shit. What do you want then? Okay, you're for done dancing. <laughs> Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target? Or one that will put up a fight? You're not safe here on YouTube. You don't it's know It's a dangerous me. place. You don't know me. Okay, mysterious lone wolf. Right, I got you. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. When did you hear about it? <laughs> Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's sick. Ha! That's quaint. Especially coming from you. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly is really what I would sick. expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around That's a bunch of accusations, right try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. To if make Lily money. was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. 
A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? No! Go on then. <laughs> Dancing. We're not done here. I think we are. I said we're not. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? One more time. Who hired her? Oh, no, fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! It's time to grow the boobies. You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? <laughs> Fuck's sake. She's just standing there. Awkwardly. Fuck off, hands. <laughs> okay. Hold on a minute. Okay, Hans, now I think we're gonna it? talk to just the other guy. Hold on, I just need to make sure. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when okay. we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. Show me and the book. for you, Hans. We need to work on your communication skills. And have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now! Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. You're lying. Don't make me break your property. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. What's this? Well, well, what's this? I didn't have to break like any property. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get big it. Bad wolf. Everyone's guilty. <laughs> we fucking get it. Jesus. You're killing me! I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. We did it. Or not. Bloody come on, then. Oh, we did it. Ah. Oh. Rick. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. And we did it all without property damage. Hallelujah. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. 
Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girls. You're not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. Huh? The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Somebody's Whatever happens listening. outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Business office. Lily, Faith. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Lock's been busted open. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Well, that jibes with what the woodsman told me. Mm-hmm. Lipstick, lipstick, lip gloss, compact. Glitter. glitter. Is it hollow? Where's the glitter? I don't see any glitter. Faith. Excuse me. Oh, I heard not you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I'm here now. Yes. Throwing a bow. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Did you see... Lily last night? You know, where she went or who she was with? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. <laughs> I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. That's their corporate speak. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? It means corporate brainwashing. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. Okay, relax. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Yes. Okay. Because... She thinks if we what make an appointment, do? then maybe she could talk freely. Because right now she's being recorded. It's not good they to gotta be make short. it look legit. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I don't. Uh... Pay her. You are so dumb. <laughs> Wait here for a second.
Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. She's trying to help. Will we find the dead body in our hotel room? Au revoir. Okay, before we get all excited and go to the hotel room with more Nikki Nikki, I'm gonna do a quick pee out the tea. <laughs> so I will BRB, run a quick little ad for Simply. I mean, who? For Susie. <laughs> Give me one second. to moisturize. <laughs> yes. Whoops, whoops, hold on. At the hotel, this bed we made. The Open Arms Hotel. Late evening, 6 p.m., 10 centimeters of rain. So, was it an option to like not come here? Because you could have just said, like, no, I don't want to do that. But we were like, no, let's book a room. <laughs> if the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. They should probably repair that. Yeah, she'll kill you.
want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh... You... I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. Hmm. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By I the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. What's the difference? Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Okay. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's... We need a chaperone. I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see you report. It's just, well, you never know. You'll do what you have to. I'm not I just say want you to know that that would help me. On that one. Well, here we are. Which one was it? It was 204. Can I go in the other rooms, though? That's the one I want. Right. But it won't work. Oh shit, no! I wanted the other one. Fuck! Can I go back? Maybe I'll go back after. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I- This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's let me in. weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? <laughs> no, sweetie, no. Bruh. Wait a minute. Relax. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? 
No, no, Beast! No. I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! I know what this place is! Relax, Beast. It's not what you think. Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? Look at She's our demeanor. My wife. We're just Please, chilling. Listen to me. Like, There's nothing going guilty. on. I'm not. Oh, hey, no. bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop. You're not reason Stop it. with men. Is this you staying out of it? I thought I could trust you. Listen to your wife. Just calm down and beast. Ugh. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! I told you to stop! Look at you! This is how you handle things! You're defending him? I'm trying to explain! Ah! She's my wife, Bigby! I told you! Just stop! Oh... Wolves will be wolves. cheating that was some weak weak shit right there that was not sigma male shit <laughs> what the fuck was that <laughs> oh my god uh i can't tap a fast enough <laughs> oops yikes forever <laughs> Press A faster! Press A faster! I don't want to hurt him, though! He's so dumb. Violence is so dumb! Don't hurt him! Fuck, now he's gonna just kill me. Oh my god. You ruined everything! Beast. She's my fucking wife! Oh, now we get in the room. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Shit. What have you done? Yeah, let me in the room. Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back. You, you don't want to see this. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith. Now you believe me. Whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, <laughs> what? I'm Shut not up. This a isn't prostitute, about you. you idiot. I work the front desk. Was anyone acting suspicious? Maybe moving a heavy piece of luggage, or uh, he got the body out of here somehow. Jesus Christ! No, no, I didn't see anything like that. It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But Just do what he says. <laughs> Fucking beast. I'll explain later, okay? Uh-huh. Now you look stupid. Go clean your eyeballs. You look like me. Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. A dumb, violent man would be my guess. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with a built-in cassette player? 
I think so, yes. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even okay, imagine. Okay, like, this is just what happens when you do detective work. We shouldn't okay. even be in here. What is that? Beautiful. It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about Fuji her. apple? Yeah. Red Delicious? Is that German? Mir auch schreckt an wartet die Boris. I don't know. Was she breathing? Question Why mark? Is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Are you a detective or something? Relax. I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and the weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? He's a... Murder psycho. Am I supposed to see things in here? I don't see anything. Worth clicking. Let me click something. Uh, nothing to click here. God. For my arrival. He brought wine. Classy. So it's someone who thinks he's Prince Charming because he wants to be. It's a like, huff and puff. I thought you the were the only one her. who smoked that crap brand. Murder. Apparently not. Who all smokes what we smoke? <sighs> Maybe it's the pig. In glamour, is Prince Charming. I'm trying to think of anyone else who smokes. The toad? Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? Okay, relax. This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Yeah, what does Beauty think she's doing? She's like, I'm a detective now. Maybe she didn't see it coming. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That 
that's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this! Please, just do whatever you need to do and let's get out of here. Damn it, get it together, beauty. Be How strong. do I play the tape? Where's the... Where is it? Did I not... Oh, there it is. Okay. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Snow White. Oh it no, there's apple. more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? Shut up, beauty, it I'm wasn't. trying to think. I have smelled that. <laughs> I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course, that makes perfect sense. Yes, I'm a detective. He's just acting out another part of the book. Thank you for God, saying what I just said. I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creepy girl leave. in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're wow. a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. You're so smart. So girl. he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. Uh -huh. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here uh, any longer. Okay. Totally fair. You you can leave now. Thank you so much. Are those pictures of the dead girl? Or is that the real snow? She wear, she's How wearing do you a brooch. Know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Thanks. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's. <gasps> Rain. Dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. You. Wait, I wanted to play the tape. Uh, did I really lose that? Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. I am gonna shave your skin off one sheet at a time. Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? Oh my god. That's mere murder, bro? <laughs> How did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 60% of players sympathized with him. You and 62% of players persuaded him to talk. Oh, because it, it could have been the other guy. But we had the woodsman. Did you let Snow come with you to the trip trap? You and 8% told her she should stay safe. <laughs> How did you handle Georgie Porgy? You and 70% didn't hit him. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 77% opted not to hit him a second time. Oh my god! Uh, okay, wait. So, wait. That was an episode? That was a shorter episode. I thought they were all, like, two hours. Um, 
how long are these episodes? Because I don't want to play it if it's going to be like three hours. You know what I mean? Let me just Google it. Um, the Wolfie Among Us. Length chapter three. I don't trust chat. So, so I'm looking at the. Uh, oh, okay. It says it's shorter than this chapter. So we could do it. I think. I think that's what that means. Yeah, do we want one more cozy episode? <laughs> Just one more cozy episode. No boobies. Please, Susan. Please, Susan. Uh, it's a cartoon. Uh. We're trying to solve murder mysteries. Okay, one more. Just one more. Because we're feeling good and cozy. Why not? No boobies, though, or else I'll get canceled. I, if that, like, is actually a problem and they give me a strike, then it will be the only, like, violation strike that I've ever had on this channel. <laughs> I don't want to strike. I don't want to go to the principal's office. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning middle and an end Wait, chapter three but ever since we moved to this awful Cozy. city everything's gotten so confused uh, i can't tell you anything you can't or you won't snow i just want you to be careful i almost lost you once and i'm not yours to lose i'm not going to be an errand girl for crane anymore she looks like holly it's not holly it's her sister, Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole pod. <laughs> My name is Narissa. Susan, I swear well, it's a cartoon. Narissa, I've got some questions. <laughs> the open arms. Okay, we don't need a recap. Oh we're god. literally just here, you know? Oh my god, I swear to god. What is it? I think the YouTube rules it's do extend to cartoon. Crane. It's not just real nudity. It's cartoons are included in, are against their terms of service. So. <laughs> you like my panic scream? <laughs> I just don't want to strike on my channel. I have a perfect record. <laughs> that fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh. God, you think you'd know a person. No. Maybe you have to tell her. I know. Why do we think What's we know? going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than Not the... now. Please, Not just, please now. Go I have a right to know. If my wife is... Honey. We're dealing Shit. with the official Crane. police business. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? I have no. to tell Snow what's going on right now. Unless okay. he can help it's, me. It's can going help to me? be okay. This, where did you see her powers? last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right Shut now. Shut up, Quapple's Quarrel. This is not about you. <laughs> Big B, are you drinking? Wait. What? Snow's <laughs> so dramatic. 
Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Because creepy men have assaulted her in the past? Oh, I hate men! <laughs> creepy old stupid man. The Buckingham Bridge, 10.28 p.m. 10 inches of rain. Okay, let's go. Who's having a seance? Here, what is happening? We were part of a very special circle. Porto she trusted the cared for. I won't the fuck is going on. Offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will oh, ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time. How do we tell you? Equal in strength to our well, mourning. Well, this can wait, loss. right? Because Crane's like not right here. And it is right in that here, spirit so that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share with me: your memories of her, how she could be stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful, how she carried a torch for the old ways. I'll miss worrying about you. For, uh, I'll miss our fights. Pageantry. I'll miss you. And most of all, Holly. it seems how Lily loved. Dearly loved her friends and family. Now you she will never die from indifference in good or lead a tedious and life. I never met my sweetheart. But from Thanks for what everything. I've been told, Vivian. I know in my heart that she would have liked to be We're here. We're just reading out loud. It's very and rude. Now we'll have our um, moment you of silence. You were a big, bright, shining star in this shithole of That's a town. Nice. And I miss you already. Gran. Really go. Mm. That's my kind of whiskey. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's he wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Look, Holly, I'm not here to start. What did trouble. I do? You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie and say you'll check first? Holly, wait, that was wait, Crane. Did... Just Crane. He disposed oh, of go, Lily's yeah. body before Big B could do anything about it. Thank you, Sam. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Holly, this just isn't important right now. I need to talk to Snow. That's not you what I thought that option was. Unbelievable. Oops. Holly, Bigby's trying in, in his own way, his and own I'm sure way. he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you Wrong here anyway? Selection. And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly, this is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away We're from doing the ceremony. Official, right? unofficial police business. Look, Holly, I know how this must No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. That went well. <laughs> okay, listen! This better be wildly important. <laughs> it 
It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. Crane murdered Lily. What? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. The bed was covered in blood. I know it was him. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Oh no, we shouldn't have shown her the picture! Oh no, we were told not to. Oh no, oh no. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. Oopsie. I'll drive. I forgot. No. Marissa? Oopsie. What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke <laughs> should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. She didn't seem it to react. Take long. <laughs> How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? No? I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, um... Coming! Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, then we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Just yeah, say, fine. say whatever I'll leave you want. Crane alone. Just get out of here. Pleasure to hear it. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please rest easy. This is not. What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're happy to report that everything went smoothly. So if you'll just allow us to get out of your hair. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? I said, all right already. Just uh -oh. go. And go we shall as men of our word. We won't ruin any more of the wedding or whatever. What did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, whoa, darling. Whoa. It's just a simple business whoa. transaction. Whoa, you fucking whoa. freaks are not getting away with this. Calm oh down, my God, Holly. what happened? Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna That's kill you! That's not gonna help. I got it, dumb. We are getting in a fight tonight. We're waiting for tonight. Oh. Ah! Did you just shoot me in the head? What the? Huh? How am I okay? Why am I okay? What is happening? Hello? <laughs> okay. Let's get this party started on a Saturday night. It's only Wednesday.
tonight. Um. The intro, yes. Fill up your tea, get some water. <laughs> Episode three, a crooked mile. <gasps> Monkey bird. Pebbletown Business Office, the Woodland Building, 1143 I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, Zero but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually Who's warm that? You look like Crane's own, brother. Until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <laughs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Is she? She's Is fine. Is she baby. real snow? I now I never. I know. had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just Is remember what I said: the water. stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation, and uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'm fully answering. <laughs> Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. <laughs> Crane watched me through the magic mirror, uncover so. his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it? Just... Wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. It could be him and no, no, other no. people. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. Maybe he's and a I'll perv. hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? I don't know. Ow. I feel like it'd be too okay simple of an explanation. Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Carry on, monkey. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just can't fucking stand that they got away. We'll catch up to them, Bigby. You did enough. Can I, um, ask you a question? Let's ask the Fib it's Finder. It's kind of personal. And I, I don't want to offend you. Why? What's on your mind? It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight... It feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. What? Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? What are you saying, woman? I guess it doesn't matter. I want uh, it, people guys, to die? Did she just say? Problem. What is it? I, I enjoy the mirror. it when it's people die? Because it gives me a role? What to do save you them? mean, huh? missing a piece? <laughs> yes, it's, uh... Buffkin, are you positive it's not here? 
Maybe it just slid under one of these cabinets. No, I'm sure it's not here. I checked every corner. Check harder, well, monkey! I picked something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Throw the monkey in there! It can't work unless it's whole. <laughs> well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? Make yourself useful, We have useful, no monkey. idea how long that will take. Okay, We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting skin. is an option. No. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. He's smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Man. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Talk to the monkey. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. You can okay, fly! Okay. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Where's the magic genie? I want to make a wish. So dramatic. <laughs> Why is that so loud? There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover, I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's it's going on? Meeting. Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. I can't. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called me. I Rita. called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. Yeah. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I don't know why Snow told you anything. He and Crane talk all the time, okay? He was a resource, albeit one that turned out to be useless. We hardly talk all the time. Besides, why spend time on such gutter snipe? Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at two o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that what Crane is going stones? to see a witch and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I need 
Who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. Most logical He's thing. A sheriff. And none of you are chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... Who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Commonwealth? What? Is this the UK or Canada? <sighs> All right, the let's fuck? just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Look. Chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so. chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know What's happening? It is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. I can't get it more you? messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the Bluebeard's sniveling weasel blue. chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. What is He's your up to something. Sir? I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Chain him up. Imprison him. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Where should I go? I don't know. It says find the witch. My head's covering it. Where should I go? Where do I go? Ah! So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. Where do I go? I want to go to all of them. No. I want to go to Crane's and D's. Not really Holly's bar. This isn't a time choice. <laughs> right? This is hard. What do I do? Do we go to Tweedledee's? Or Crane's apartment, or Holly's bar. I don't think we're allowed to do all of them. D and Dumb must know where he is. I should go to their office first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll look up their address. I hope you know what you're doing. Nope. I do not know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. The Tweetle <clears throat> Brothers Office. Excuse me. What the fuck? Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, Snatch. great to see you. You cosplaying as a toad? I don't know if you remember me. I've uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go. 
recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? Do you have eyes? I mean, eyes? can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? I was hoping to have a talk with D or Dumb. Do you know where they are? No, they don't really keep regular hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure, thanks. No problem. I don't know what the frog I'm prince is. I'm gonna have to take a look <laughs> around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right, you're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Just keep to the back, out of the way, all right? Right. Why are we littering fucking everywhere? Like... Dear brother dumb. I hate dogs and you know <laughs> sincerely brother. D. What's that about? They do have their quirks. Yeah, that's a good one. <sighs> Lollipops. I wanna lick it. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. Couple of freaks. <sighs> this is pointless. <laughs> now, I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it Thank down. Thank you, that's how to Or like sometimes, work. they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? Mm. Or who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, uh -huh. flycatcher. Finish my tea was lovely. You know about this? Uh, no. Got a key. Oh, they're stupid hats. I'm sure you have your reasons, but. It's just, they, they've done so much for me. Let's see if they've got a file on Crane. Donkey skin! <laughs> I'm distracted. Crane hired them to look for a photo? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. I haven't found anything yet. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great, they helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Why did he want it back so badly? Detective Brannigan? Keep an eye on her. Cinderella. Where is Cindy been? Somewhere in Europe. Is Europe a country? Is Spain in Europe? Beauty 
he's in debt to the crooked man? Shit. Find anything? Not what I need. W what, if, what if you're wrong about them? Shut up. I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, <laughs> you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Is that what you think? Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything because to Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They shot at Snow White. Bigby, what happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, 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 I didn't know. And it doesn't matter if they're really good at hiding their shit, but they're involved all right in all of this. Do you Don't get it now? Don't tell him this, then he'll like tip him off. Thank you, Annie. Magic gang, magic gang, magic gang, magic gang. <sighs> okay, froggy head. I, I didn't mean to. There's a door behind this file cabinet. Now, I don't know what they keep back here, but it oh. might be what you're looking for. Froggy boy is gonna let us in. Well, that key you found should work. How about that? Snoop-de-loo in the basement. Wow. Wow. Mountain blend coffee. Ugh, that's not tea. Hold for BCW. Hmm. What are you looking Questions? for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane. Or the witch he was using. Something. We're playing Phasmophobia. Do we have freezing temps? Anyone have the dots projector? JD. Jack Daniels. A book. This doesn't really tell us much. We'll look inside of it, sir. <laughs> what was that? Butcher. ASAP. As soon as plausible. What is this stuff? Cocaine. What'd that say? Crooked? I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Money? Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the lucky pawn. You know what that is? Take the money. I don't need it. I'm a rich wolf. Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. Hey, Bigby. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but... You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. I don't really? know. I'm not your father. That would be... Thank you. Why is he asking me for permission? I don't know. It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why... We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. Did we find it? I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? This is so complicated. That's not a pleasant is thought. anyone else following? There's no address on it. So so what now? Snow would probably want to know about this. I'll check in with the business office. 
Maybe there's a record of antique green leaf. I think I saw a phone near the back. Thanks. You're welcome, Sheriff. I'm following, but I'm Business lost. Office? Does this know why? Case no. <laughs> oh, it's you. Sorry, I've been answering angry phone calls for hours. People want to know where Crane is. How'd it go with the Tweedle brothers? No address yet, but I got a name for Crane's witch, Auntie Greenleaf. You heard of her? No. Aunt Greenleaf? Buff can is she friends with Aunt Lydia? Weapon, but it might take some time. Huh. Somebody's got to know. Do not find stand. Her. And Snow, I found a note with some money How are money they getting attached. her hair? This is a good Green question. Has been embezzling they, like, come up with scissors? Town. Of course, because Still why like... half ass being a complete Choo. sleaze ball? Choo -choo. Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean... Better be careful. I guess it doesn't matter yet. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. You might want to try Holly's place, see if she hasn't burned Lily's things yet. Or cranes, you might find something there. Although, Blue why is he cleaning? I'll leave it up to you, but we he's just trying to time. listen. Crane is meeting her at 2 a.m. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? It's not timed. Tell me where to go. I, I was mildly not paying attention. Trip trap, crane, V or X. If you guys are like split. There's literally like equals of both in the chat. Say one and go to the other. I I don't know if I can do that. Siler. Zyler. <laughs> Zyler, you okay? You miss me? A rare Zyler sighting. Zyler, which one should I go? Or which one should I say? Let's say the, say the trip I'll trap. I'll go to the trip trap. See about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. Just, just be gentle with Holly when you get there, okay? I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Bigby, I have to go. Someone just came in. Good luck. Big boy is either. The trip trap bar. 1.15 a.m. 10 inches of rain. 45 minutes left. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, Sally, you gotta go down. He's asleep, you fucking idiot. He didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Just, you know, what happened? We know what happened. Or uh -oh. how it happened. Why isn't... Why would she want to hear that? Ah, oh, you know, my control's not working. I mean, what? Can I just... Tyler! Wait here for a bit until she wakes up. Then... We're closed. I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. And if he doesn't, he can take it up with the missus later. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Grant. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, 
I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Yeah. Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? I'll have an amaretto sour, say? please. Lots of ice. Gren, really, you I shouldn't drink right now. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Armando's hours really? are actually so good. I forgot all about them for the last, like, ten years. The doc gave them both bar and my sister ambrosia. brought the ingredients for over pain. for Look, the Christmas the deal Eve. is, if you resist like, going to sleep, I remember like these. I am so right good. Now. It gives you a very, very, very nice high. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. He shouldn't about mix alcohol. it with alcohol. <laughs> I find it's hard to find good tasting alcohol. Like I don't yes, really drink that did. much because he, he certainly did. Bad. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. You sure you don't know where Lily's things are? You should care about this since but it's important. But amaretto is actually the delicious. What did I tell you before? I'm sure I don't know. Put it in black tea too. It's really good. Just a little bit. Not in the morning. Funeral back but. there. <laughs> that was a shitty fucking send off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start. I'm running hot chocolate. Don't yes. Don't starting anything. I'm not. Right now, I couldn't give a shit what you. I'm right on Sprite. No. no. We're not in college no. anymore. Well, mm -mm. I can tell. <laughs> Perrier. Sparkling water Whatever. if you want a it's spritzer. Right. Not I'm Sprite. Too out of it to get into it. <laughs> Might as well just pour I some sugar clear in the there. air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. Look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I'm running out of time, Gren. Come on, boys. What shots are they doing? What, why did he just drop it? What's wrong with him? Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna oh my warn God. me about it, huh? No get fighting, my boys. Fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was sorry, what? all right? I can't do anything about it. Oh, it's no. Sorry. Here we go again. <laughs> What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I absolutely cannot babysit you dumbasses right now. So end whatever this is, so we can just move past it. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. <laughs> Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, Ooh, it wasn't that was a his big personal deal. issue. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. <laughs> no, when but she was you snowing. knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think oh. about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of questions shit? Questions on police business! Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? When you saw Lily, did she ever mention anything about a witch? I literally don't care. No. That you fucked Holly's sister. We didn't sister. talk okay, about I just need work. to know about a witch. All right. <laughs> I don't care about the drama. Gren. 
I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Thanks for the... Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that Please I'm gonna pass, pass out. out. I what would like day. that. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Gren won't remember this. Good. She's sleepy. I guess. There's the brooch. Okay, they're all wearing the fucking little ribbons. It's like the girl gang. Mean girls. Girl squad. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. Uh, I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. Look, it's the same thingy. That was on Snow White's glamour body. Why isn't he observing anything? Observe! I don't know why you fucking came <laughs> here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. Just go back to sleep, Holly. Another puzzle thingy. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, Ooh, that's if he us. cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. He cares about this. About Lily. About Faith. I know he does. You think so? Yeah. She's just not opening well, her eyes. you know him better than anybody, so... Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. She never opened her eyes. She thinks we're the woodsman. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Get your glamour on. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Benjamin Franklin quote. Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. All right, let's go. Let's I fucking don't go! don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Big B! 
Uh, I just got here. Yeah. How do we know too. she's real? Like, 23. is there a test? I haven't seen it yet. Mm. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is We're it. late? Fuck. Right. How do you want to do this? I forgot there was a time limit. Hear anything? <laughs> if anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Are supposed to be on time or something? Auntie Greenleaf, I need you to open this door right now. Hello? It's a child. Hi. Are you a witch? You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry about well, that, silly little munchkin. <laughs> I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. <laughs> no, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> Look, kid, I don't have time for games. <laughs> you woke me up. It's okay. Do you have Wait, a Wait, is that a child? Rachel, who are you? It's a fake. It's a trolling so child. We're not strangers. I'm Big B. I'm this is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Why are you so creepy? Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. She's lying. Is there something you want? Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. You don't have a babysitter? Okay, Bigby. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. It'll be hard. Don't I'm get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? I don't know. Crane. <gasps> you could still be here. Why are we here again? That your mom? Uh-huh. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy, that's how we like it. It's 2 a.m., young child. Let me guess. Where are Big your band children? Or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Maybe she's wearing the glamour to look like a child. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. Nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Where do you... Shut up. <laughs> Deliver to Auntie Greenleaf. A butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, 
no, no, child. no, please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. No, you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I have to check this out. I'm sorry. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> Anti-green leaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. Mm-hmm. You picked the wrong night to lie to me. No more lying, no more ring around the rosy, no more bullshit non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I wanna know right now. All right. Just Start cosplaying as a child. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a... Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? He's my brother. I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? If you're not protecting Crane... Who are you protecting? Get this through both of your skulls. I can't tell you. Just you being here is bad enough. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is, is you're it? The afraid monkey? of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. The froggy? The you piggy? You have no idea what's going on, do you? With okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took yeah. advantage Throw of in it, jail. and now she's <laughs> resisting every attempt to make things right. Tyler. I frankly don't give a crap. Hi. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts wow. us again. He never comes here. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare Dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that that tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's Snow the White only thing paying for the shithole apart. Wild. She's pulling out all the And stops. the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have and very different too. ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? <laughs> that way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? Yeah, haven't we you can't ever trust heard of this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat. And I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. You're no! Who's no, ordering I'll tell me? you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. Oh, he was here he and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. Here's the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. The damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Today is your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's Let's newest witch in residence. B Big B! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble, and, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. And then it we can regulate it. No. It's like we're gonna decriminalize it and regulate it and tax it, <laughs> just like marijuana. <laughs> just don't expect me to <gasps> bow down to your little woman here. Let's do it. 
Don't she's think mad. for a second she's that a this purist. is over. Uh, so she what? Doesn't like a this. moving truck's gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. She didn't have a choice. She is hired now. You're gonna work for us, the government. Snow, why that's smart. I don't think she'll listen though. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Yeah, decriminalize witches. Hold on. Sheriff, is there something more I can help you with? You decided you want to taste Oh no. Earth. Are we gonna see oh, boobies? I see. Couple two auditions. Snow's bitch. mad at him. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Hey, you can't just go in there. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did ah! it. No, you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. Okay, I she's not naked. Oh my this. god. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I Crane, not naked. get away from her. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. It's a good girl. The girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. What does he think he's doing? Because of that spell. Okay, can we but arrest once him? this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on, and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. No one's ever talked their way out of an execution, Crane. Woohoohoo, spicy. No, 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 really, this will work, I tell you. I went to you. Damn you, come on. Please. Tell what does he think he's trying to do? Her. My lips are sealed. I have to say that. <laughs> Why isn't he in handcuffs? How many years? <laughs> what? How many years has this been going on? Too. Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh, God. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's, that was, I just. That was just what? I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince ah! Simon, okay? I'm Ew, sorry I, I didn't die. cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't? Love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Creepy old man syndrome. Bigby. Lock him up. I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not. He's he wouldn't be just brave enough. Nasty. A nasty man. Not to put his stamp on the world like that. We've been chasing this guy. Just, why now? Because look at him. <laughs> you said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? This fuck up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't! Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Still oh, literally shit. put him in prison. I didn't intend for any of He's this to get so You've to been women. stealing money from Fable Town for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fable Town funds. That's it? You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses. But as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. 
Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Get the fuck Sometimes off. it's fuzzy. Now. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made oh, shut sacrifices. Up. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the Break town his took nose. everything it could out of me. Yeah, see, the thing of it is, we're better at this than you Thank are. Thank you, Megan. Woo. Hope you like it. Can someone please take off their little bows? I feel like the bows is a problem. What are you saying? You are literally disgusting. Why are we still talking to him? Like he should just be in the back of the car. And ostracized and shamed. And forced to resign from his position. At minimum. Okay, what's this? Why is this creepy? Why are you driving on the curb? Sir. Shit. Slimy little grimy old man's gonna get away. idiots look it's recently come under our attention that you're how shall I put this ah! attempting to claim what is the personal property of the crooked man hello he's about yay high 120 odd pounds pissed his sheets until he was 14 sound familiar What's happening I haven't told him anything not now not now shh the grown-ups are talking who are you no, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. Like a good donkey. Ooh, shut up. Snow! You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. This is not good. This is Tweedledee. Not good. What's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mondays call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny you to like have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. <laughs> and I do that for a hobby. Like golf. To relax. This was really the wrong day to try and pull this shit. Uh-oh. I'm scared. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. Uh-oh. We're gonna die. Alive? Oh my god! Uh, it's Wolfie Mona! I can't press A fast enough.
Okay, where's Crane? Did she run away with him? I swear to God. Just didn't know when to end. Snow White will save my life. Snow White, better you know, save my I life. Didn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, ah! why can't I press A faster? Right, why is it well, going thanks. away? It's literally going hey, away. Look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> Can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow, uh, stay out of this. Who's that? It's your lucky day, kid. Crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? The lighting is cool in this scene. I like the pink. Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Yeah, he's just a rapist. <laughs> Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. No! Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. I don't like you, you meanie. Next time on The Wolf Among Us. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even gonna be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? Creepy! Oh. <sighs> Okay, statistics. Uh, let's go. Did you interrupt Snow's eulogy? 80% did not interrupt. Good job. 40% uh, investigated the, uh, the bar first. 19% chose the Tweedle's office, which is what we chose. <laughs> did you offer a flycatcher a job? Yes. Did you burn Greenleaf's tree? We did not, as did most of the people. 
as did not. Did you kill Tweedledum? Oh, 55% showed mercy. And that's it. All right, we're gonna save it here. That was two chapters. That was two chapters. Actually, I kind of want to leave this music on for you so you can have it. Oh, never mind. It doesn't once I switch the. Yeah. Well. <laughs> okay. Um. La 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 la. All right. Um. What else did, shall I say? That was thank you. That was uh, two very cozy, wolfy chapters. So that means we're gonna start episode four next next Wednesday. But yeah, I think it got good. It's been a little confusing, but also I think now things are becoming clearer. We only died once. We got beat up at least twice. And uh, we're trying to figure out who's lying. So GG's everyone. This game is so interesting. It's cozy. <laughs> How can you buy the donkey? Um, well, you have to go to a farm and you have to sell your soul. And actually you have to trade a monkey for a donkey. That's the only way to get it. Chris, drink gin next week. I don't like gin. It tastes like I'm drinking cleaner, like pine soul. I can't, I literally can't drink gin. <laughs> Don't forget to oil your nails. And this Saturday, as long as I'm feeling okay, which I am not today, but hopefully I can see and my eyes are recovered, but I don't know, it feels like that's never gonna happen again. <laughs> um, if all goes well, Saturday, I will do a 2023 year in review. Year in review <laughs> and go over all the shades that we released at Holo Taco this year just for fun and like discuss them and do live data like ask you guys what your favorite shade of the year was maybe organize it by color or something fun like that that could be fun um, but then the actual data stream like 2023 best and worst sales report will be in a couple weeks so that'll be like mid January because I got to do some data stuff and whatever when everyone's back from break. So that'll wait. But this I just feel like could be just like a more fun, chitty chatty, whatever. Not really a data presentation, but just like, let's talk about all the shit that came out and you know, shoot the shit or whatever. And then the Saturday after this coming Saturday, I would do a 2024 nail trends. So like try and looking at um, looking at what news articles, or not the news, but like, you know, Mary Claire or whatever, Allure, whatever the fuck, thinks is going to be trending, and then look at those. Kind of like last year we did this, and remember they were like, chrome nails are going to be big, or <laughs> whatever. So just stuff like that. Sacrificial lacquer restock in January. Yes, that's the plan, but um, everyone's off right now, so I won't know more until you know a couple weeks into january but but that's the plan yeah but yeah um the next time i will see menchie gang will be this sunday which will still be 2023 so remember if you're in the menchie gang this sunday wait yeah this sunday i'm like wait but, uh will be our members only stream would it will be new year's eve and I have some Menchie Gang related data for you, just like a very short thing. And then I have your new spills for your backgrounds. So that'll just be a chill and chat as per usual, but that'll be fun. Thank you, Susan. Menchie Gang, Menchie Gang, Menchie Gang, Menchie Gang. Cat hair going down the drain. But yeah, if I don't see you, please have a happy and wonderful New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day. I hope you get to rest. I hope you get to sleep and have some tea, playing games, paint your nails, pet your cat, 
whatever it is, you know, that you just get to relax. Maybe you're not doing anything from this point forward for a full week and you're just like chilling. Thank, thank you, Heather. <laughs> thank you, Heather. <laughs> um, but I hope regardless of whatever it is you're doing, whether you're working or familying or hanging out with yourself, that you just have a chance to relax and, and that it's overall a good one. You need to do your taxes. That's very, that's very productive of you. Yeah. I actually have some quarterly stuff to do. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Don't remind me. I mean, Ben, who will, who, you know, is a tax man. But, um, and, uh, with that, thank you to the mods. And we will see you guys at least next Wednesday for this game. Maybe this Saturday. Depends on how I'm doing. But definitely this Sunday I will do the Menchie Gang stream. So, all right, everyone. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you all later. Bye. Thank you.